there might be situations when you're building an SSR application and you want things to render on the front end. You want to force parts of your application to only render on the front end. And we can do that quite easy using Quasar's no SSR option. So let's say Quasar dev and change the mode to SSR for this video. So usually we just run Quasar dev, but for this video, we're going to add the mode SSR because it doesn't really make sense with an SPA or any of the other options. It only really makes sense with an SSR app. All right, closing that out, let's jump in here and go ahead and get started. Now, before we can actually do this, we need to have a component that renders with SSR or not. So basically we're going to create a tested component for no SSR. So we'll open up our console and say, Quasar new component SSR logger. So now that we've got that component, I'll control click here to dive into it. And this is gonna be really, really basic. Just a plain div, and I'll put the word something in there. And if we come down here, we can now console.log something, console.log, where am I? And that's not an existential question. That's basically our way of checking where this component was rendered. Because if it renders on the server side, then we'll get the console.log on the server. If it renders on the client side, then we'll get the console.log inside of the client window. In fact, I think it will actually give us that console.log in the client window either way. But anyway, we can now save that and use this component. So if I jump into index.view, and then we come in here, we can use the SSR logger component. Copy that, and then we'll come in here and say import SSR logger from component slash SSR logger dot view. Let me just make this a bit smaller. And then if we come down here and say components, now we can go ahead and use that component. So if we just leave the component there by default and save it, and then I refresh the page here, notice that we get where am I in our SSR server? That's because the server is rendering this component. As it renders the component, basically it's coming down here and that console.log is now happening on the server side. And you'll notice that it actually happens if I open the console here on the client side as well. So let me just refresh that page again to show it to you. There we go, we get where am I on the client side and we get where am I on the server side. Okay, but if we now wrap this, so I'll select it and say Control Shift Enter, in a Q-No-SSR component, save it. Look at what happens when I refresh this page. Notice that we get where am I on the client side, but not in the server side. So this is basically a way of tagging this component, tagging whatever's sitting inside of there and saying, hey, I only want you to render on the front end. Don't render on the back end. I want you to skip this component for whatever reason, only do it on the front end. And it turns out that there's a couple of other cool things we can do here. First of all, it can have multiple nodes. So if we have a div there and say something else, save it. Notice that we get something else there and it's still going to work just fine. We still get that console.log, if I refresh the page here, on the front end and not on the back end. So it works with multiple nodes. Another thing we can do is change the tag. So if we set that tag equal to something like an A-link. And before I save that, let's click on here and take a look at the element. Notice that by default, it's wrapped in a div. Save that. Let's just refresh the page to make sure. And we'll inspect it here. Now it's wrapped in an A tag. So if you wanna change this from a div to something else, that's how you would do it. What else can we do? Well, we can actually add a placeholder as well. And this is pretty cool. You can basically say that this component is still being rendered, it's still loading. So if we put a placeholder here of loading, then by default on the server side, it will insert the loading text in there. And then when it's loaded, it will insert this content into that SSR component. I'll show you what I mean. So let's jump out of here, refresh the page. And did you catch that? Notice that we get loading for a split second there. So basically the server side is sending it through with the loading message. And then when it loads on the client side, it's replaced with this content in here. Pretty cool. And another way I can demonstrate that is if we say control U 
we can look at the source code for this page. So now if I search for that placeholder text, loading dot dot dot, notice that it is in the source code itself. So you might even wanna use this, this component for some sort of SEO related stuff. I'm not sure to be honest, whatever you need it for. But notice that we get loading dot 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 there in the source code, but we don't get it on the client side because it gets replaced with this content. And by the way, this placeholder can also be a template. So if we come in here and then we add template and then we set that equal to a slot of placeholder, we can say whatever we like and put anything inside of there. So let's come here and refresh the page. And now if I go control U to look at the source there and search for whatever we like, notice that it was actually the default HTML that we got passed through there. But it doesn't show up except for that split second when we refresh the page. So that's about it. For the most part, you probably won't need this component, but if you have some more advanced needs where you basically want to say SSR, skip whatever's in here, then you can reach for the Q no SSR component. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video.